Chapter 62 A Change in Mentality and the Blazing Sun King After grabbing Chang Sunji, another white-faced ghost with a huge belly flew out and opened its bloody mouth to swallow him. This disgusted everyone present tremendously, but no one stepped up to save him, because the other evil spirits had overwhelmed them, and they were already unable to take care of themselves. The evil demon Daos looked down at everyone and smiled menacingly. Sukong Ya, if the three of you finish off the remaining people for me then surrender, I will spare you life for now. This was a perverse tendency of his. He deliberately wanted to make Sukong Ya and the others kill each other. If you want to kill me, kill me. I believe you won't live for long anyways. Sukong Ya's expression was cold. If he fell into the hands of the Sky Demon Cult, he would rather die than live. All right, then I shall send you off. As soon as the hundred ghost Gonfalon landed from his hands, hundreds of evil spirits charged at everyone. Song Shi watched in secret and frowned slightly. If he attacked now, he was confident that he could injure this demon. With the fire python talisman, but the chances of killing him were basically zero. Because the other party could dodge. Even if he was killed, there was still a foundation establishment cultivator guarding outside. It would still be difficult for him to escape. What a headache, in this world. It's not enough to not die. You have to be powerful, otherwise, you'll still be at the mercy of others like this. Song Shi's mentality changed. At first, he felt that it was good to not die, but now it seemed that it was not enough. Without sufficient strength, even if he did not die, he would also be suffering in agony. If it really doesn't work out, this is it. Just as he was considering whether to activate the array disc and bring the others to hide inside, to stall for time, the dark zombie outside suddenly let out a strange cry in fear. Be careful, a powerhouse is coming. As soon as he alerted the demon dust, the ground immediately shook. The barrier of the hundred ghost life extinguishing ray formation twisted violently before turning red, as if a sun had descended from the sky. Then, a loud bang suddenly sounded. Rumble. With a deafening sound, a huge hole was instantly created in the array formation. Then, destructive waves of energy rushed over. The terrifying pressure caused some already dilapidated houses to collapse. Under this scorching power, the lid of the cauldron that was filled with black fog in the sky instantly shattered. Endless flames tore through the darkness, blasting a huge pit with a radius of more than 10 meters in the center of the courtyard. In this pit, other than dust, there was also a large amount of smoke rolling around. Wisps of golden flames burn causing many evil spirits nearby to dissipate under this tower. Such terrifying destructive power shocks on Shi. His mind was shaken but he could not find a place to hide. The house he was in collapsed like a bubble. A sharp object shot over from the aftershock and landed with a shocking impact. Poochie, this thing instantly pierced through Song Shi's abdomen and nailed him to the wall. Then, he was drowned by the rubbles of the collapsed house. However, he didn't die this time. His body was quite strong, but part of his kidneys had been destroyed, and his blood was flowing out wildly. He was a little confused. What happened? Who was the one who caused the ultimate power shock just now? Song Shi wanted to move, but he realized that he was pressed down by a large pile of broken walls. His body was even pierced by a piece of wood. It hurts to move. I've been buried. Sanchi came back to his senses and could only extend his divine consciousness to seek information. Through his consciousness, he realized that he was buried very deep. There were many rocks, broken walls and broken pieces of wood above his head. His divine sense was not strong enough to penetrate to many physical objects. He could only follow the cracks and turn left and right so his consciousness could leave the place. Then. He discovered that the sky was lit up so brightly that it seemed like it was now dawn outside. But it was actually still nighttime, and what gave him this illusion was an existence that was like the sun. To be precise, it was a figure emitting a myriad of rays of bright light. This person's entire body was flickering with golden flames. He held a bronze spear and stood in midair. His eyes were like that of a god, emitting a domineering and scorching aura. So strong, this person is much stronger than the masters of those evil spirits. Song Shi felt his divine sense trembling, as if this person's power could burn through everything. He hurriedly retracted his divine sense, not daring to get too close. He also understood what had happened. This person had used a powerful move to directly break the array formation from the outside. 
The subsequent power had then poured into where he was. It's the Blazing Sun King. Damn it. Why are you in Silken City? Amidst the broken ray formation, the demon Daoist's voice was filled with fear. At this moment, there were 108 Marquises of the opposite sexes from the Great Jin Dynasty in the sky. Even without the help of Fanny Dharma artifacts, their cultivation levels were even stronger than that of ordinary Golden Core cultivators. Not to mention Foundation and Establishment Realm cultivators. Even if one is of Golden Core Realm, he would take a detour if he saw a marquee. Demon Dust, you've been killing and refining evil treasures everywhere. You've already violated the laws of the Great Jin Dynasty. Now, you still dare to touch the Fiend Eradicators. Do you really think the Great Jin Dynasty will turn a blind eye? The dignified voice sounded with brilliant intention. The Blazing Sun King stabbed forward with the spear in his hand, causing the Voy in the array to tremble and the world to brighten. A hundred meter long flaming energy spear pierced through the black fog and landed on the demon, doused with a ferocious force. Damn it! Amidst the evaporation of the black fog by the flames, a pale-faced gnome appeared and revealed a look of horror. He hurriedly took out the familiar black and red flag. Immediately, countless black fog rolled and hundreds of ghostly shadows gathered, turning into a hundred meter long green whirlwind that blasted towards the golden firearm. HMPH, your hundred ghost gone fall on which has just been ranked once to block my flame spear. With a disdainful voice, the fire spear shattered the whirlwind and annihilated many ghosts. It pierced through the hundred ghost gone fall on. Ah, the gnome screamed miserably. His dharma treasures were damaged and he spat out a mouthful of blood on the spot. His aura immediately became dissipated by a huge amount. He looked terrified and knew that he was no match for the blazing sun king. He then turned around and fled frantically. Die. The blazing Sun King chased after him. With a spark of fire, the spear shot out like a dragon. Scatter. Thiedman Daoist gritted his teeth. In the shattered the hundred ghost gonfall on, the remaining evil spirits rushed out with strange cries and tore at the flaming spear crazily. If he was a golden core cultivator, he could still fully utilize the power of the hundred ghost gonfall on to fight against the blazing spear. But now he was only at the Foundation Establishment realm. The power of his Dharma treasure was simply incomparable. Many evil spirits were reduced to ashes by the raging flames. He gritted his teeth and dispersed some evil spirits. He then deliberately charged towards Sakanya and the others, wanting to take them hostage and save himself. Blazing Sun King, if you continue to chase me, everyone from the Fiend Eradicators will die. The demon Daoist threatened, hoping to force the Blazing Sun King to stop his attack so that he could escape. You, a mere brat can be cleaned up with a simple incarnation. The Blazing Sun King did not care at all. As he sped up in his chase, he left behind a translucent figure, and caught up to the demon Daoist who had used a secret technique to escape his clutches. Died. The flames in Blazing Sun King's eyes flickered as he activated his killing move. On the other side, a big belly ghost opened its mouth and spat out Chang Sunji, placing him in front of the spear. When the Blazing Sun King saw this, he could not help but halt his attack. I heard that this is the virtuous Phoenix King's son. Kill him. When Demon Dao saw the Blazing Sun King's hesitation, he laughed and took the opportunity to escape. While the Blazing Sun King was chasing after the Demon Daoist, Song Shi, who was buried, frowned in annoyance, my kidneys are destroyed. I don't want to live anymore. He pulled the wood out and blood gushed out, causing him to grimace in pain. Setting up the resurrection location to be on the same spot he died. He cultivated in reverse through his cultivation pathways and died with his meridians broken. Three seconds later, apart from his clothes being torn, Songshi revived unharmed. True energy gushed out as he punched out. Boom. Under the powerful force, the shattered building was blasted open. Songshi jumped out and landed outside. In the flames, the incarnation of the Blazing Sun King was killing all the remaining evil spirits in the air. The entire courtyard below had turned into ruins. Sakong Ya and the others were all affected as they looked extremely disheveled. Songshi's gaze focused on the old man. Because Big Smart had stood in front of him, Old Master Song was fine. However, Song Jia and Song Bei were both lying on the ground, covered in blood. It was unclear if they were dead or alive. As for the other cultivator that was guarding the outside of the array, he had long disappeared and fled. 